Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Ray from iPhoneAmpair.com, and I did something really stupid today. Uh, normally, when I connect my iPhone to iTunes, it'll pop up and ask me if I want to install the latest version of iOS to my device. I normally just choose download only, but not to install. Well, today, for some unknown reason, I have no idea why. I don't know if it's because I was tired or what, what was going on, but I connected my iPhone to iTunes to go ahead and back it up, and it popped up the message on the screen did you want to uh, install the latest version of uh, iOS to your device and I clicked yes and now I have iOS 5.1 on my iPhone 4 which is really not cool because um, I definitely know that uh, an untethered jailbreak for 5.1 is coming soon but it's not here yet and I hate having a tethered jailbreak only it's really inconvenient so I want to go back to uh, 5.0.1 as you can see here it is clearly 5.1 so like I said it really sucks so normally what you would do is you would uh, connect your device to your computer via USB and you can use uh, a tiny umbrella to go ahead and uh, downgrade to uh, the latest version of iOS well this worked before but with newer versions of iOS it's no longer an option uh, ad Apple added some extra security to the IPSW files it basically uh, uh, signs them and uh, puts a particular uh, added security feature I, I don't remember it off the, the top of my head what it's called but it, it's definitely uh, an extra security feature. Before you used to be able to just go into Cydia, pardon me, Tiny Umbrella, and set the uh, host for Cydia. So it says set Cydia on exit. And then you would go ahead and put your device in DFU mode, connect to iTunes, hit shift restore, and select the old IPSW file that you wanted. And then you would be able to downgrade your iOS to the previous version because it would be Cydia's server that iTunes was talking to and not Apple server and Cydia's server would sign the IPSW file well that's not the case uh, normally I'd save my uh, SHSH blobs in Tiny Umbrella but for some reason I did not I have no idea why as you can see here the highest I have is 4.3 so definitely don't have uh, iOS 5.0 or 5.0.1 on here so uh, pretty much I'm screwed. The only place that I have my SHSH blobs saved is on Cydia, which is the problem. How do I get those blobs from Cydia onto my computer so that way uh, I could try to use uh, iFaith to downgrade my iPhone. So basically there's a way to do that. Uh, you'll want to go ahead and jailbreak your I your iPhone on iOS 5.1. It is a tethered jailbreak. Uh, once you've jailbroken your iPhone, you'll go ahead and launch Cydia. And if that will ever come up. Uh... Uh, display recorder was the last thing I was using because I needed to uh, record my or screen capture my screen. So, anyways, um, you want to go ahead and tap on search, and in the search, you'll want to uh, go ahead and look for I S H S H I T. It's a nice uh, little app that basically will uh, allow you to save your S H S H blobs, and you can also download your blobs from the Cydia server which in this case pretty much saved my life because without those blobs I would be screwed and stuck on 5.1 until an untethered jailbreak came out so anyways ISHSHIT search for that go ahead and in my case it says modify because I've already installed it in your case you'll go ahead and hit install then you'll want to go to the application and it'll show your chip ID, model, firmware, 
uh, via Cydia and then manage SHSH. In this case, uh, on firmware, we're going to go ahead and uh, tap that. And I want to look for iOS 5.0.1. As you can see here, this lists all the SHSH IDs that Cydia has ever had for my device. Uh, anyways, um, 5.0.1 check the Acidia and then you'll go ahead and click on save in the upper right corner of the screen uh, in my case I've already done it so I'm not going to do it again once that's saved you'll tap on manage SHSH you'll tap on your SHSH file it'll open up an email and you will want to go ahead and send that email to yourself and send that on its way I won't do that since I've already done it so the email has been sent. Uh, once you receive the email on your computer, you want to go ahead and uh, save that file from the email to your computer. Uh, Tiny Umbrella actually has a folder on your computer where it saves your SHSH blobs. That is under Computer, C Drive, Users, and then you choose your name. In this case, Chris, which a lot of people don't know my first name is Chris. Uh, anyways, uh, and then you want to choose the .shsh folder, and as you can see here, here's my .shsh blobs that I got from .shshit, and that I saved to my computer for uh, iOS 5.0.1. All right, so moving in the right direction, we have that. Next thing you want to do, as we mentioned before, if you haven't uh, done so, is you'll want to uh, go online and you'll want to search for iFaith download that application launch it and then once you launch that you will want to go ahead and choose build a signed IPSW with blobs and you want to browse for the SHSH blobs cache it should default to your .shsh folder if not navigate to that folder and then choose the SHSH blob you want in this case it's 5.0.1 then you'll browse for the IPSW file. You can download it if you don't have it. I've already have it, have it on my computer, so I'm just going to browse to the folder where it's at, which I think it's in uh, my iPhone folder, maybe. No, uh, downloads folder. Uh, select file, hit open. iFace will go ahead and start to verify. Once it verifies it, you'll go ahead and click on build IPSW. Uh, this process does take a moment. Uh, and basically it'll build a uh, custom IPSW file that you can then restore in iTunes so it'll put it somewhere on your desktop uh, once it's done All right so it says it's done and as you can see over here here's my custom IPSW file then it tells you you want to put your device into a DFU mode so this is pretty much I want to say idiot proof basically you're iPhones connect to your computer via the USB cable. You do as it shows on the screen there. Press and hold the power button if your iPhone is on. Slide to power it off. And then once it's off, you go ahead and press start. And you follow the, the, the on-screen directions to put your device in DFU mode. So tap on start. And then once you hit start, you'll then press and hold the power key for a few seconds. And without releasing the power key, you're going to press and hold the home key for a few seconds. Alright, once that's done, you release the power key, keep holding the home key, and wait for a few seconds. Alrighty, and it's putting our device into DFU mode, and as you can see, it says it, the device is in now Pwn DFU mode. To go ahead and open up iTunes, hit Shift Restore, and then you want to browse the, and select the custom IPSW file that iFaith created. So we're done with iFaith. Go ahead and close that out. I'll go ahead and open up uh, iTunes. Where is it? iTunes? There we are. Did I click on it? Yeah. I see. Excuse me. All right. So it says. Uh, Detect an iPhone recovery mode, hit OK, go ahead and hit Shift Restore, and then go to your desktop and select the custom IPSW file that iFaith created. And basically from here, it's going to communicate uh, to your iPhone and go ahead and get your iPhone all set up and ready to be 
uh, to have the IPSW file installed to it. And again, this part uh, is probably the longest part of the whole process. It does take a little while, so just be patient. And while I'm doing that, I can actually uh, use my Galaxy S2 here to capture a video of what is going on on the iPhone screen. So what you'll see is you'll see the Apple logo for a brief second, and then after the Apple logo, you'll see the iFaith logo, uh, which looks like this. Uh, and you can see that the progress bar is there like it normally is when you're installing a, a firmware to your iPhone. So you'll see the iFaith logo and the progress bar. And that lets you know that it is installing the IPSW file. <clears throat> Alrighty. iPhone software, so we're just moving right along. Almost there. And again, I'm sorry to make you guys wait through all this. Alright, so it says that it has been restored. So you want to go ahead and tap on OK. And then on your iPhone, it'll then boot up to the start and or setup screen, which is what you see here. Go ahead and slide to unlock. Uh, you can see here that I'm getting service. It's searching. I'll get AT&T and 3G. There we go. All right, and as you can see here, uh, definitely have iOS 5.0.1 back on my iPhone 4. So basically the moral of the story is now you know that you do still have hope if you updated your iPhone to iOS 5.1 and you didn't save your blobs in iFaith or in Tiny Umbrella. You can still use ISHSHIT, so go ahead and get your blobs from Cydia to your computer and then use iFaith to create a custom build and then get your iPhone back on 5.0.1. Once you have that done, you can then go ahead and use Red Snow to do a untethered jailbreak on 5.0.1. This is Ray from iPhoneRepair.com. Thank you very much.